A Japanese chef taught me the secret of this recipe. Now I just want to make it like this. For this recipe, we will need one chicken breast. First, I'll cut it into slices and then into thinner strips. I'll transfer it to a bowl, add salt to taste, black pepper to taste, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to mix everything very well. In a pan, I add oil, wait for it to heat up, and put the chicken in to fry. When it's browned all over, you can remove it from the oil. Here I have a cabbage. I'll cut only half of it into strips. Next, I'll cut half red bell pepper into strips, half green bell pepper, and half yellow bell pepper into strips. I'm going to cut a carrot into slices and then into smaller pieces. In a pan, I'll add oil, three cloves of chopped garlic, and let them fry for a minute. I'll add an onion cut into strips and stir it while frying. Now, let's add our ingredients. Add salt to taste, black pepper to taste, and keep stirring. I'll add three tablespoons of soy sauce and stir again. In a pan of boiling water, I'll add 250 grams of pasta, salt to taste, and let it cook. After this time, our pasta is cooked. I'll add it to the pan with the other ingredients and add our chicken too. Now just stir to mix everything together. This pasta tastes amazing. Here at home, there are never leftovers when I make it. Everyone asks me for the recipe and there's never anything left. I'm sure you and your family will love it too. Our pasta is ready and I'll serve it to you so you can see how it turned out. Look how delicious it is. Make it at home and then come back and tell me what you thought. Bye, see you next time.